morning guys for those of you who don't know me i'm gerrit um, i'm the chief bottle washer skinner outfitter and field guide bird guide and, and whatnot for uh, triple s safaris this morning i'm at a very special place just outside of dolstrom uh, it's the bird of prey rehabilitation center that we're uh, visiting and uh, we're going to be showing you what's happening in the background these guys do magnificent work to, uh, on the rehabilitation of uh, raptors uh, we're going to be also going out and releasing two of the, the birds that's been rehabilitated on the release side so stick with me and let's go show you what happens right here's a barn owl uh, in other words for a barn owl I don't name for them it's a ghost owl because of the sound no these are cool Hello, this is Frith. We're the Goldstrom Bird of Prey and Rehabilitation Centre. And basically you're behind the scenes here where we basically do this every day. This is the weighing room. This is where we weigh the birds, get their health, you know, checked, etc. And then uh, we get them ready for demonstrations and flying. Now this little girl sitting here, her name is Ginger. She's basically a rehab bird. This little girl gets a hood on her head because she stresses. Highly strong little bird. Lana Falcon, Edel Falk. And these guys do stress, so you put that on, can't see anything, can't stress about anything. And obviously when she flies and she's free lofted, it comes off. Right. So basically we just need to put them on the scale like that. You go and get the weight. And Bob's your uncle. Right, so this is basically where they sleep at night, some of the falcons, and the smaller birds. Uh, this is the little place where they sleep and uh, then we take them out uh, outside in the daytime to get some sun and rain and also uh, just we call it a weathering area outside. So this is where they basically just sleep in the night and then uh, yeah, so they need the natural elements in the day. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick, uh, pick them up and get them ready to go outside. Hi. So here we have another rear bird, her name is Malaya, and she's uh, she's a peregrine falcon. You met Ginger, she's the nana, this is the peregrine, and she's immature, so you can see the plumage is a little bit different from the adults. And basically she uh, she was shot in the wing like Ginger, and she needs a little bit of TLC, she needs fitness training, um, and then we can assess if she's releasable or not. This is Eddie, the long-crested eagle, named after that beautiful crest. He's an imprint, so he can't be released here. So we use him as a demonstration bird to show you what awesome birds these guys actually are. Okay, what is an imprint? Imprint is a bird that cannot be released. It is uh, being raised by humans and it imprints on them so it thinks it's a human. That's why he sits and screams the whole time. He's trying to talk to us. Oh, you want some food? Yes. Okay. <laughs> some of the birds quickly show you. Uh, it's here, it's a south, a southern white face owl. Now, bumblebee, with a thin honey closet. Mm, we've got a pine crow. Hunter, looks like a kestrel. Let's just put in some of the other guys. Charlie, Peregrine Falcon, Esther. So a Harris Hawk. Mila, Eddie, our long crested eagle. There's two. There's the African arrow rock, making all that noise there. African fish eagle, Hayley, and Daffy, Daffy from the spotted eagle owl. Beautiful. All of these birds that I just showed you now is used for demonstration purposes at Bird of Play Center uh, and twice a day during open times, 10.30 and uh, uh, 14.30. 
and uh, some of these or well, most of these guys are uh, appearing in the show and they definitely produce an awesome awesome show you guys really need to make sure you come and watch when you visit the bird of prey center in all those things so tell us the story of bumblebee okay so bumblebee is a european honey buzzard this poor thing was trapped by a person that wanted to fly it as a falconry bird now this guy had no experience uh, if you if you have any experience with the falconry, you'll know that you can't actually hunt a bird like this. Um, also, they uh, they honey buzzards because they eat the larva and stuff out the honey. And they also, as you can see, I've put some honey here for in the Dale chickens that I'm feeding her. She absolutely loves the honey as well, so she takes some honey in with that larva. But the basic thing is, um, he flew her. He didn't have the experience, etc. She uh, she broke the wing. He didn't take it to a vet, took it to a rehabilitation center, which was too late, and they had to amputate the tip of the wing. Now we're keeping this bird, uh, she still has a quality life, and uh, we're keeping her because she's a threatened species. And if maybe in the future, if we can get a male for her that's a non-releasable bird, we can maybe put them together and see what happens. But for now, she's very happy eating her honey, eating her chickens here, and uh, she runs around with us, and she's, she's happy, and we spoil her to bits. <laughs> awesome. This is a uh, black-chested snake eagle that came in with a broken wing. It was an ulna break, so our vets at White River Veterinary Clinic pinned it for us. Um, but now we've got to just keep the wing mobile and do physio on it so that the uh, tendon here doesn't shrink, um, which will help with us when the pins are removed that he can fly, fly again. A long road we've got ahead of us, but it's looking good. How long um, do you think it uh, will last? Uh, will take before he flies again? Well, he's. It'll take another. We've got to wait for six weeks for a checkup on the pins, and then probably another six weeks before the pins are removed, and then he's got to go into the flight ovary to assess flight. So we're probably looking at about a year or we'll have to work with okay. this bird. And uh, how long has he been here now? Uh, he was operated on last week. So he's been with us for just over two weeks. Wow, awesome stuff. A really beautiful bird. Look at those eyes. Right, you guys, here we have a black breasted snake eagle and jackal buzzard. They're our beautiful uh, big flight ovary. We put these birds into the flight ovary to assess the flying after they've been pinned or, you know, just rescued and just to check if they can they can fly properly. Nice big ovary so it can build up fitness as well. Now the black breasted snake eagle came in from South African Wildlife Rehabilitation Center. Um, Judy asked us to basically just assess, uh, assess his flying, assess his uh, condition and uh, that was in March, now before lockdown. Uh, now the bird is, is doing very well, it's flying very strong and uh, it's, it's ready to go. It's ready to go. So we just waited after, uh, you know, we had our first rains here in Dolstrom and uh, you know after the first rains uh, usually your 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 sort of your grass and comes alive and there's a lot of snakes in the area so we're going to release him along with the jackal buzzard that was found as well um, he's been pinned by um, uh, white river um, animal hospital by dr benny and karin over there and uh, he's also been doing very well he's flying like a champion and we're going to give these birds a second chance and uh, yeah hopefully they'll make it out there amazing thank you very much all right as you can see fantastic condition beautiful feather plumage and these birds are ready to go nice and healthy and look how beautiful they are you guys this is obviously the jackal buzzard and look at those eyes of this black breasted snake eagle stunning birds all right jack's going in there <laughs> nice and wild Okay. Hey guys, first up is the uh, black chested snake eagle. There she goes. Off to a better life. Hopefully, a better one this time. Jackal buzzard, let's see what he's gonna do. 
East Johnson, it's the second Johnson, Johnson Road. Jagger buzzards and uh, black chested snake eagles. Next time I see one, it might be one of these guys. Guys, thank you very much for this for this morning. I really appreciate it. It was amazing to see what you guys do and how much dedication and, and stuff you guys put into release and look after these birds of play of ours. It's awesome. Thank you very oh, much for you. bringing me in and showing me the ropes, what you guys are doing. And thank you for what you saw today doing is exactly the release. What we work for. Yeah, 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 that's that job satisfaction it of is. releasing yeah, a, a, a birds of prey back into nature and hopefully get that second chance. Also. So keep up the good awesome. work. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you.